Hello and welcome to the paper one Edexcel history support video for section B. So with the first video we looked at section A which were the three questions and now this is the last three questions of paper one which is looking at section B. This is the rest of the medicine course so this is 1350 to present day. Okay reminding ourselves that it's an hour and 15 minutes and we're saying that the first part should probably take about 20 minutes. So section A is 20 minutes. The remainder of the time is section B and I think you should be left over with about five or 10 minutes, probably five minutes actually to, to check it over. So let's familiarize ourselves with section B. It's asking us explain one way and it says that in bold on the actual paper, one way. That's four marks and that's five minutes. That's what we'll look at next. Explain why, which we've seen, which we will see in the other papers. That's three points to be made with that. And that's 15 minutes long. And then how far do you agree? Um, because it's saying how far you are saying um, you are making some judgments on that. So every paragraph that you write should be judging how far you agree with it. A lot, a little, not a lot. Um, so let's have a look at the first question. Okay, so in this case, this is four marks. It says explain one way in which the methods used by doctors to diagnose illness during the medieval period were different from the methods used during the modern period. So time-wise, medieval versus modern. We're talking about methods used by doctors to diagnose. They're the key words. So it's diagnosis in the medieval and modern period. It wants one way in which the methods were different. Let's have a look at an example. Notice how short this is. It's four marks, so you only want to spend five minutes on it. I'm tackling the question straight away by saying diagnosis in the middle, medieval, medieval or Middle Ages was based on a long standing tradition of comparing bodily functions to the four humours or using superstition. So I've gone down the line of superstition and I'm saying that diagnosis was based on looking at the four humours. Whereas, so I'm making my comparison, in the modern period it was more sophisticated and it was scientific. Now here's where I'm getting the extra marks. For example, um, in the medieval period, Barber surgeons inspected an astrology chart, that's your superstition, or compared urine to a chart which was linked to an imbalance in the four humours. And then in the modern period, equipment like an electrocardiograph could be used to diagnose chest problems. So I've got my example from the medieval period, I've got my example from the modern period, and I've said overall the one point that makes them different. Okay, so hopefully that kind of clarifies how you do that one. Next question, and explain why question. This is explain why the role of the church decreased in importance in the years 1250 to 1700. I mean, the simplest answer with, of this is that the church just lost its influence. After the Black Death, 1348 to 1349, you have um, greater sense of empowerment going towards thinkers, hence the Renaissance. The Renaissance comes around because the power of the church has decreased and more people are willing to, to question things. So. We've got medical training as one of the points you could talk about. William Harvey is the second point, and then your own idea, which you know you could talk about yourself. So it could be the development of technology, like the printing press, spreading ideas. Um, yeah, so uh, let's have a look at the first one. So what I've done now is just looked at one example. So remember, we want three points. Here's the first one. So I've gone one reason. I made it clear that this is my first point. The decline of the church decreased due to scientific investigations. They were undertaken by individuals like William Harvey. So my first point is using William Harvey. And I've made that clear in the first sentence. So there's my point right there. Now I'm kind of explaining and giving examples. By the time of the Renaissance, people question. Uh, you want to put a comma there? People like William Harvey were allowed to dissect something banned in the medieval period by the church. This would allow, so I'm expanding upon it, so I've kind of explained the point there. I'm expanding it by saying this would allow, there's my connective, doctors and scientists to explore the way the human body worked. For example, there's my example. William Harvey, he discovered that the heart acts as a pump moving blood around the body, the circulatory system. His findings would lead others to make discoveries connected to the way the human body worked. Here's my link. I'm saying why it's important or how important it was. It was an important step in allowing knowledge of illness and medicine to develop 
but not as important as the role of the Enlightenment, which was a movement freeing individuals to explore science more freely, and as a result, other reasons for why people became ill. Point, evidence, explain, link. And all you've got to do is say how important this is in regards to the question. You'd have to do that for another couple of points, and then you've got your answer. Last question on this paper is uh, five or six, so you have a choice. And it will usually give you a statement, and it will say, how far do you agree? What you want to do here is you want to make three points, I would argue. You want to try and go for a four, and you want to then try and go for an against, and then choose either a four or an against. You want an overall conclusion, and I would say for each of those, you want to have some sort of mini conclusion or mini judgment, I'm going to call it. Awesome. The examples they give are Jenna's vaccination, the Broad Street pump. You would also need to come up with your own as well. So let's add that one on. Own. 30 minutes, 16 marks. This is the one that's going to get you most of the marks on this paper. Uh, this one also will include an element of spag because it's on the medicine paper. So here's an example. This would be um, one example of uh, an agreeing with the statement. So I've, I've clearly outlined the first bit. John Snow's work with cholera was a turning point. Great word. They love that in, uh, in, uh, in the Edexcel GCSE, turning points in preventing medical disease. It reduced the number of deaths linked to cholera and would also help change people's minds about the link between dirty water and disease. However, it was also a dead end as it could not be explained until germ theory was published. So you've got two sides. That's my kind of for, and that's my against, and that's in a basic intro. Let's get straight in. Firstly, I agree that Jon Snow's work was a turning point because in 1854, nice use of date, a particularly strong case of cholera had affected residents living in the Broad Street district of Soho, London. So that's my point. I do agree it was a turning point. Next, Snow used scientific investigation to find out what was causing the problem. There's my uh, example or piece of evidence. It continues. After interviewing members of the street, he realised that a faulty drainage pipe was leaking sewage into the water table, which people were drinking when it was pumped up. Here's my explanation why it was a turning point. So all I've done is I've used my knowledge of what was going on. I mentioned Soho. I mentioned 1854. That's a nice bit of knowledge. It was a turning point because it led to a concrete, uh, it led to concrete proof that cholera was in the water and it helped to change the minds of leading men at the time, like Chadwick. Nice bit of extra knowledge. However, a problem with the discovery was that it could not be explained. Nice. This is kind of countering. This would take another seven years until germ theory would link germs to disease. Therefore, here's my link because I'm coming back to my point. His discovery and the removal of the pump was another one off event similar to Edward Jenner's vaccination. So there's my point. Example, explanation, link. How I would then chase that up. The next point that I would make, what I would talk, I would talk about Jenner's vaccination, what it was, how it led to prevention of disease, how important it was. Public Health Act, exactly the same thing. So that's the extra, that's the bonus point that I'm going to make here. So bonus point. And the conclusion, which was the most important factor and why. It's a judgment you want to make. These are quite straightforward. You've just got to make sure you've got a for and against or agree, disagree format to it. So you can show you going from one side to the other side. Uh, and that's about it. That's the end of paper one. I hope that helped. Good luck.